we have to start guys by talking about uh, captain virat kohli just some of the stroke play for me it was sublime and how he shifts into white ball cricket it's just they they you know it's like the made for each other the kind of shots he plays yeah, look <laughs> i i think you could say that about him it doesn't matter which format he's playing you know he he stands out him steve smith yeah these guys are absolutely fantastic in that they they're able to just shift as you say and virat from a long time ago i i think back actually to to virat coming into the indian side having been a world cup winning captain as an under 19 guy and that kind of set him on his way and then he turned up in uh the indian setup he wasn't short you know he wasn't kind of too backward in coming forward he always put himself forward and i'm the guy i'll get the runs in a team that was full of superstars who for the time he had grown up had been the guys in the team do you know what i mean like so when you take up the game and these guys are stars of the indian side and you then get there and these guys are still stars of the indian side kind of gives you a sense of how big these fellas are still he wasn't overawed and now he is the star in the indian side and still doing it and his hunger for runs hmm. is what i think is incredible and quite obviously insatiable and he just keeps churning them out no doubt about it. and i often think you know being india captain must be very hard being yeah. an india player is, is very hard and there's this weight of expectation and with kohli particularly there's this weight of expectation i wonder if there's a time when people just sort of say hey hold on okay take away the india captaincy and just see this guy who plays cricket who wants to make runs who has the same anxieties and so forth does anyone tell him like look buddy you're really good you've done really well you know i hope there's someone around who <laughs> I think everyone's you, telling you know what i mean i hope that there is rather than this constant Oh, he hasn't done that and oh, he hit that to cover and oh, what about this? Oh, he said that and what well, and you kind of lose uh focus or you lose sight of of just how much the guy has done as a cricketer from when he started to now and held up those standards. It's absolutely brilliant. That short joy this one that pick up. I mean, I, I, I always say that in KKR when we were there in the first few years we used to say no ball to Virat Kohli within 2 feet of the off stump hmm. it's because his pick up shot was that was his shot and then after that we we'd find with when they'd bowl there he'd crash them past cover he just got better and better and better and if you look at his record now he's averaging 60 in one day international cricket with 43 centuries he's averaging 49.35 in t20, t20 cricket okay it's incredible at a strike rate of 135 he is probably the greatest white ball cricket batsman in the history of the game if you just if you just see numbers and yeah sachin has got 49 centuries he's 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 still got a few to go mm. but this man does he think he's you know 6 centuries are going to stop him plus the number of innings that he's played chasing the number of hundreds that he's made chasing targets is there's just nobody in the game close to him you know i did an interview with him during uh, champions trophy 2017 and i asked him was maths one of your favorite subjects because the way you chase down targets the way you sort of see it in your head he's like look maths and i have never made to happen but the way i see targets it just works very quick it comes naturally to me and then he just takes it on the pressure of the chase just doesn't show in his approach everything in in just about in life i suppose context that we were talking football off here mm-hmm. all of us right talking about football and and trying to say well you know what the context of this and the context of that in comparison of players for virat kohli i think the the context is there's a game to win hmm. what do i have to do in order to win this Get game the for the team and that's generally how he works and when that's in front of him absolutely loves the challenge it right from the start you know what's in front, how do i become an indian player uh, Uh, a, a team india mainstay one of the guys in despite who's there i got to get runs just continue to get runs and it's never changed from hmm. so yeah he's just you know we're talking uh, you were talking with garov i think in game 1 to say there's some guys who see a challenge or situation is more difficult and that's when they stand up india are lucky to have a guy like that when it comes to chasing down scores which look rather tough 
it's a very interesting thing and I, I've, I've often thought about this first inning scorers versus second inning scorers yeah are you the kind of guy who likes to score the 360 and put it out of reach in a in a 50 over game or are you the guy who likes to chase down 320 and do it and it's interesting for me that if you see his record virat's record chasing is actually better hmm. so he when he when when the goal is absolutely focused he's actually laser sharp then where is a lot of players and you know a very good example of this used to be sehwag sehwag's test if you see sehwag's test career his first innings batting average versus his second innings batting average his second innings got off dramatically dropped off dramatically because he was the guy who would set targets yeah okay yeah mm. yeah. yeah context 2200s for Virendra Sehwag first innings and just 100 in the second innings so that sort of yeah. sums up the point yeah. of view yeah and, and also i suppose uh, there's we're going to delve into a whole pressure. lot here not so much pressure but but um condition of the wickets and so and, and some might sit there and think that uh you know what more difficult when when you know when it's first innings because it's a fresh wicket and and it might see around and all the rest and i appreciate that yes it is difficult but there's a trueness to the wicket at that time than there is when you come back second time around new ball on day number 3 or day number 4 where the bounce isn't as true and it's a little bit more difficult to you know hit through the line and so forth there's um, you have to kind of apply yourself differently so he preferred it when he knew what was happening and yes it was swinging around but he put pressure on the bowler mm. and therefore made the bowler miss a whole lot more and there's less that the guy has to do when it comes to the second innings cuz it will happen you know wherever he kind of bowls it also the fact that joy that this guy backs his game to the hilt you know so the norm in 2020 cricket is if you're getting a four you're getting a four you go after the bowler he gets a four he'll take a single he gets a four he'll get a double you know he he'll, he'll give that much value to the singles and the doubles as is he's giving to the bomb or probably more to the singles and i think he's learned from the best in that sense dhoni was a relentless runner between wickets and i think that's one thing he's schooled in so perfectly he runs he doesn't he doesn't give you a break he doesn't give you that break and doesn't give you that opportunity to rest he'll push the fielders he'll push himself and he's always there and see that's those are players who are difficult because they're always hustling yeah you know you can't stop with these guys and that's that's really important for india as a team and just look at the way he finishes games there's a certain calmness that he brings to his finish i mean as i said he's absolutely right sometimes even <laughs> despite all we say about him maybe we just don't appreciate we might i think don't think we enjoy him enough as much as we should we are watching possibly one of the greatest batsmen possibly the greatest white ball cricketer in the game mm. and we just don't appreciate him enough